five-step process to success. It's kind of like the cycle that we talk about in Mary Kay and, well, like I said, in other selling businesses, actually even relationships. You have up here where you're excited, and then you're going to start to conquer the world, and then it drops over here. This is like a clock, okay? So then you drop over into frustration. Mm -hmm. Like, what do you mean? Everybody's not saying yes. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? And then you get into frustration sometimes can lead to, lead to anger, like, She's not doing this, and she's not. And then we get into comparisons, and that just takes it down into wah, wah, not the bottom, where we're either we're in crisis mode. Okay, so we either decide quit, quit, go out, or you know, and swing back up to the top. And all it takes for us in this business is to have one person call us and say, "Oh my gosh, I want that miracle set that I tried months ago." Or I want to order another miracle set. Or I want to join your team, whatever that is. And guess what? Whee! Because we women are emotional creatures and we can be as high as a kite or low as a snake's belly, right? And a lot, and sometimes within a minute of each other, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. You can cycle that through. Okay, so the five steps of success are the first one is test. Okay, so when you have a test, and that test might be that it's, all right. I need to talk to this lady and see about getting her schedule. A test may mean, oh, I've had three cancellations this week and I'm not sure how to deal with that, okay? So the, whatever the test is for you is that, that mountain, okay, that I wanna climb, okay? So the test is the first one, okay? Um, then the second one that goes, and believe it, believe it or not, this is part of success. The second step is fail, okay? You ask any successful person in any business if they've ever failed. What do you think they said? You can't. You can't have success. That's why it's part of it. I mean, it's the second second step. You can't have success without failing. Okay. All right. So that's the second step. The third one, while you're down there and you've fallen, okay. The third step is to learn. Okay. What did I learn from this? All right. So. I had all these postponements. What am I doing? You know, like, what am I? What do I need to learn from this? Okay, um, because the the fourth step is improve. Okay, so learn and improve obviously go pretty much hand in hand. Okay, so when I had when I was in DIQ, Director and Qualification, I was going for the big thing. I had earned my car. I was going for it, and I had seven zero. Parties, as in, I did not even sell my mascara. So that was a fail. Was that a big fail? It was a massive fail. I'm like going, oh no, this is not happening. Um, I fell hard. So what I did though is I learned that, you know what? I'm not doing a great table close. I'm not doing an individual consultation. I'm not present. I'm not asking for the sale. I'm not to close and sell. I'm not doing anything. I said, okay, if y'all want something, let me know. So obviously I learned how to improve on that. So the fourth step is improving. So if you fall down and you just get yourself back up, brush off and go, that's good. But if you didn't learn from what caused you to fail or fall, right? And, and learn how to improve that, whether it's, okay, I need to learn how to overcome objections. You know, what are the ones that we have? I need to learn this. Well, I need to learn, um, how to make those booking calls and, and be effective and how to postpone or, or how to handle postponements and how to coach my hostess and learning and learning and learning is improving, okay? Because that's what, we, we're talking Mary Kay about failing forward, okay? So, and I've done this before. If, if Katie were to get up and go across the room here with, with some momentum and I stuck my foot out and I tripped her, which way is she gonna go, forward or backward? Forward. She's gonna fall forward. So if you are moving forward and you fall, you're gonna fall forward, especially if you stop for just a second and wonder or, or realize that you need to learn something and therefore improve something. Okay. All right. So then the fifth one is re-entry. Okay. We re-enter that cycle again. Okay. So what's my next test? Okay. I've, I failed. Maybe I fell. I learned. I improved. Okay. I'm at that test again with more knowledge, etc. Okay. So. It's that falling down and getting back up that's that's important because first of all nobody can nobody can follow somebody that's sitting still, okay? 
customers want to follow you, your team members want to follow you, your sister consultants want to follow you, you're not going to do it if you're sitting down, okay? You know, the footprints in the sand sort of thing. Okay, well, if you just sit down, you've got butt prints in the sand. And nobody going to be able to see where you're going or that you've gone, and nobody can follow it. It's just boom, okay? It's like an anchor in the sand, okay? So no butt prints, okay? Only footprints, okay? And if you're running, the footprints are farther apart. But if you have a splat and the sand goes all over the place, that's okay because you're falling, all right? Um, a lot of, I mean, I think there are, or I think it's human nature to not want to fail, right? It's never fun. And we all have rough days in this business because guess what? It's a people business. People are crazy, right? Yes, they are. But guess what? People are crazy and they're going to disappoint you and they're, they're going to make you sad. They're going to make you mad and all that kind of stuff. But, but people at the same time, Will also make you feel completely rewarded and fulfilled and excited and happy in the whole nine yards, okay? And it's those things that make the other things work. Okay. okay. It's like any other relationship. You know, everybody, everybody, anybody been in a relationship? Katie, you're a newlywed. Have you ever been mad at Kyle since you got married? Oh, yesterday. Mm, okay. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So if you have had a lot of failures in life, you actually are successful. Because it just means you have you have a lot of experience and learning, learning up under your belt. Okay. Um, alrighty. Let's see. If you don't, you're playing it safe, and nobody's gonna accomplish anything by playing it safe, right? It means that you're not living on the edge. You're not stepping out there. And and while do you know people that are that have been very very comfortable through their lives to do the exact same thing and and not really necessarily be happy? It's status quo, and they just they just play it safe, you know. They don't want to travel outside of, you know, their house or their town, their jobs. They're they're perfectly fine, and there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, the world is run by people that are, you know, steady eddies and and all that. It's not a bad thing. It's just that you ladies obviously want something more, right? Okay, so people that want something more have to do a lot of failing, all right? Um, okay, before I, oh, I do want to say what, and Anne's going to talk a little bit about this kind of in concrete terms. Um, you have to know what you want, not just with maybe a relationship, but, you know, with this business. So we're at the end of March, okay? Ask yourself, okay, did I set a goal up? What was it? Did I reach it? Did I work toward it? That kind of thing. I said, Ian's going to get some of that. But your mind and your thoughts and your actions are all need to be tied to goals, right? And it needs to be something you can really remind yourself of because seeing it will change your actions and your thoughts and worry and attract more of it. Do you ever stub your toe in the middle of the, or at the beginning of the, the morning and you're like, oh, this day is going to really... Well, guess what? You just threw that out there. So what are you attracting? You're attracting all the ugh or whatever, you know? Then stomp it and go, okay, got that out of the way. The rest of the day is going to be beautiful, okay? So attracting all that self-talk and all that kind of stuff. All righty. Um, okay, I am going to turn it over to Anne to talk a little bit more details about about some goals. And, you know, when you're starting, I said something about, you know, or I was talking about failing and getting back up and you're, Let's start again. You know, here's you and here's your goal, okay? Hmm. What happens in between here depends on how, or depicts how quickly you will reach your goal. Does that make sense? All right. Okay. You ready? I'm ready. All right. I won't hand these out until oh. you tell me to. Okay. All right. That's fine. <laughs> That's totally fine, too. Thank you for letting me be here with you this evening and letting me speak into your lives. Your gracious and amazing director is too kind, but uh, um, <laughs> why don't we just spend a minute? What do you love about Karen? Come on. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Now we're done. Now we're done. Now we're done. Oh, you're so sweet. You're so sweet. You'll never find anyone more loving, more caring that would go farther for you. This woman. Just the things that she does that you don't even know that she does. Mm -hmm. um, she is love. You are love. She is so fun. 
So we went to Columbia together. And she's the only person I know that can say and do things with such a spirit that everyone has such a good time. She's just loving connection. I mean, they ask us why they're there, and she says, I guess I shouldn't say drugs. I'm like, oh, Lord, have mercy, we're going to go to jail. <laughs> <laughs> he laughed at her. He was like, ha, ha, ha. And I was like, oh, my God. This was TSA. <laughs> Whoops. Whoops. <laughs> 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 Trying to get back into the country, and I screwed up the kiosks because they were like, "Do you have anything?" And I was like, "Yep." Oops, I can't unsay it. It's fine. But I have I just have so much fun watching her with people because she has an incredible yes. ability to connect with people, and they don't even really hear what she's saying as much as they hear what she's feeling. Mm -hmm. And it's always loving connection. That's why I love you. <laughs> She's a blast. We have such a good time together. We have more fun than yeah, we should. Should. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Middle of the day lunches that last three hours. <laughs> <laughs> there, that's a great time. We have a great time. We're going to talk a little bit about um, getting stuck, getting sidetracked, getting sidetracked, stopped, um, or successful. She's going to pass out. If you're going to pass it out, I, want, I cannot echo as much as what Karen said about success and failure. They are the same thing. They are the same coin. Um, so many times. Get over here. Yeah. So many times. Um, <laughs> it is only at the top. It's a lonely climb. Y'all should join me. You know, there's lots of lonely. There are books called Room at the Top, and they're NSD books, and it talks about because it, 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 with Mary Kay, there's plenty of room at the top. Um, but success and failure are tied together. Honestly, if you are not willing to fail, you will not succeed. You will not. And so failure is not fatal. Remember that. Um, how many times does a child um, fall down before they go, okay, fine, I'm never going to walk? Oh. Seriously? Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? They just get mad and they get up, right? Mm -hmm. And so we can take a lot of lessons from that. We seriously can. Um, and I've raised some kids, and um, I know some of you are raising some kids or have raised some kids or are going to raise some kids, and here's the thing. Um, sometimes you think to yourself, <sighs> this child ever going to get out of diapers? Well, typically I've not seen anybody in school in diapers. So they will. Okay, they're going to get there. So here's the question. If you know where you're headed, um, how important is that to know where you're headed? Very, very. Okay. <laughs> um, let me ask you this. Am I the only person in the room that sometimes you set a goal and then you miss the goal? So then you don't want to set another one for a little while? Okay? I've done that so many times, but you know what I find is when I set a goal and I miss a goal, and then I pout so I don't set another goal, I made it much further to where I was going when I missed it than when I didn't set it at all. Mary Kay said something really, really wise one time. She said, if you hit it nothing, you'll hit it every time. If you aim at nothing, you'll hit it every time. Okay? So aim at something, right? And think about, they say what, except for horseshoes and hand grenades. Yeah. <laughs> Almost is okay, right? Getting close is okay. I mean, you know you're going to, if you play darts, as long as you hit the board, it's good to hit the board, right? Yeah. Um, and if you play long enough, you'll hit the board, right? Okay. Well, talk bowling, I still need to go over that. <laughs> That's the only way I like to play. So we're gonna, I'm not gonna read to you because I know that you're intelligent women and I don't need to read to you. But if you look at the lines from A to B, you see that there are three, actually there is like more than three, but if you see the first one A to B, and the second one A to B, and then the third one A to B, which one would you read to be? Third one. Absolutely. Now, Ooh, there's an ordinary pain that we don't love, it's one that I don't love, but is it completely realistic to think you're going to start at a straight line where you're going? No. And Karen just explained that, didn't she? Um, why do we think it's going to be that way? Okay. Well, we think everybody's going to be just as excited as we are, and not met with equal excitement or support or drive or vision. We don't understand that sometimes, do we? Um, but understanding this, and, and this is an important thing to, to kind of get at, you're the one with the goal, you're the one with the passion, you're the one with the business, and so why do we think that other people are on the same page we're on? We have to help them get there, don't we? And some will and some won't. Mary Kay would say, so what? And not like, so what? Like, we don't care, but like, don't. Should, should we let the naysayers control us? 
right? I mean, rain on our parade, really? It's our parade, right? It's your life. It's not a dress rehearsal. So um, we talk about what are some of the things that can stop us from point A to point B? Any ideas? No. Okay. No's. Rejection. Okay. Okay. That's good. You know all these things. All right. It's true. Um, so think about doctors, um, lawyers, people that um, have gone to school and probably have like a ton of debt, maybe from student loans. Um, you know, it's really cool they don't have to double book or anything because everybody always shows for them too, right? <laughs> Wrong. Of course, you know, we go, to the, we go to the doctor on the day that everybody shows up, right? That's why we have to sit in the waiting room for two hours. Um, interesting how that happens. But my point is, we must understand that it's part of the journey as well. If, when Karen said she had seven parties in a row that were zeros, how did that make you feel? Sad for her? Better about myself. Better about myself. <laughs> yeah. I give you up. <laughs> What if she had let that stop her? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, we wouldn't be here. No. Thank you. That's a beautiful sentiment, and it's so true. Now, fast forward. You're in your you're in your studio, and you've got a room full of, of <laughs> women that you've empowered that are changing lives, changing their children's lives, paying off their own debts buying family vacations, right? Can you see that? Sometimes when you're going through difficult things, remember, it's to encourage your future team. Because what if you got up and said, oh, it was a piece of cake. I still right through. Yeah. You know what? <laughs> Everybody would walk out. <laughs> right? Either she's lying or <laughs> I don't want to know her. Right? <laughs> so that's important. So I'm um, just kind of looking through some of this. We get stuck. We all get stuck, right? I just admitted to you that I'll set a goal, I'll miss the goal, and then I might not set the goal because I got stuck, right? I got stuck in what I missed. And a lot of times it's, it's perspective, right? What are we seeing? Karen said it best, you know, stub your toe. Okay, so is that going to set the tone for the day or are you going to call that done? Um, the reason that we get disappointed, it's good news. It's because you're optimistic. You expected it to go well, right? That's why sometimes we think we have more time and more money than we do. And those things run out. And I know that sometimes money is the thing that we, we strive the most for. And I'm not saying it's not important because money buys choices. And money's kind of like air. If you've got plenty, you don't think about it. But if you don't have any, it's a pretty desperate moment, mm -hmm. right? So money is important, but time is more important because you're never going to get another minute back. So congratulations for being here this evening and investing in yourselves and investing in your business and investing in each other and the community that's here because that was a good choice to do with your time tonight. A very good choice. Um, she talked about self-improvement, self-growth. And yeah, you wouldn't want to know me <laughs> for sure who I was before I started writing. I didn't even like people because I didn't like me. All right. So you got to find the good within so that you can share everybody else. Because once you know you're pretty amazing, you know what happens? You know you cheat people when you don't share yourself. I mean, seriously. All right. You've got, you're beautiful. Everyone in this room is beautiful. I'm sincere. Because women can smell it a mile away if you're not, right? Yes. I'm sincere. <laughs> you are beautiful. And you have an amazing product. And you have a great heart and you have a great leader. So if you don't work your business, That's why they run after they disappoint you. Because <laughs> they don't know why they're like, oh, she's mad at me. So if you schedule something, or if you have something here, and you invite people, and they don't show up, you call them up and say, girl, we missed you. We had such a great time. It doesn't matter if anybody was here but you. Okay? <laughs> because you want them to feel released from the pain and the pressure of disappointing you, and you want them to go, oh, what I missed. I'm going to do that again. <laughs> right? 
So, because you can have a good time. I mean, go get yourself an ice cream and <laughs> yeah. have a good time, right? So anyway, think about the things that disappoint you. Think about the things that stop you and learn. Like Karen said, you said it best. We learn, we go on. Mary Kay said, go to an appointment on your way home, celebrate what you did right, definitely repeat it. Um, think about what you did or said that you don't want to do or say again because I didn't go over so well, right? And then um, leave it out. Um, and you'll get better every single time. Um, I have a box group that I work with and we really celebrate grand days, which are $100 days. And I started this because my people weren't giving me weekly accomplishment sheets. I'm sure all your people give you weekly accomplishment sheets all the time. <laughs> I'm going to be on for a minute. Really get through. I tell you what, my director lived in South Dakota. I mailed him every week. When I became a director, that did not happen for me. I didn't understand it. Now, it could have something to do with my personality style versus other people's yeah, personality style. <laughs> it's okay. It truly <laughs> is. <laughs> That's why taxes are easy for me, too. <laughs> anyway, I am a high C, in case you've studied any of that. You can relate to that. Um, but anyway, long story short, I thought, well, they're just not sending me their weekly conference sheets. So we're going to do a boxer group. Because all they have to do is like say, hey, you did hundred more a day, you know? Mm -hmm. Then I realized a lot of people weren't doing it. Yeah, there were some that were, but there were many that weren't. Now, I included my directors and, and their girls on it as well. And what I found is that over and over and over again, it was the directors reporting $100 days. And this is what I said on my box for today. Sometimes we might assume that, of course, the directors are doing $100 days. They're directors. It's backwards. The directors got to do $100 days. Mm. Mm. <laughs> 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 Just saying, because you get better and better and better. Mm -hmm. You stop being an undercover agent, right? Because there's always that thing that I like to say, which is if somebody accused you of American consultant, would there be enough evidence to convict you or not? <laughs> Do the people in your world know that you're American? And if they don't, it's time that they did. And if they do, and you're not sharing yourself with them, you want, we're thinking, I don't want to bug them. We're thinking, oh, everybody's selling something. And they're thinking, why hasn't she talked to me yet? Why hasn't she offered me a facial? She said she liked that mascara. There she goes putting that lipstick on again. Seriously, that is what they're thinking. They are feeling left out. And if I am wrong, they don't deserve your time. And if I am right, you're hurting their feelings. Get over yourself and offer them something. People like gifts. They do. I mean, I hate to say it, but um, when I was little, the, the lady came to the door every, you know, the ding-dong lady starts with an A, we don't say it's a letter word. I was so excited to see her because she brought samples. She brought samples. We still have samples. I, last order, I bought every lipstick, six in fact, one point five. I mean, seriously. They're samples. People don't throw them away. So I suggest give them a try. What do you think so far? Still like me? Yeah. All right. So I haven't stuck with the outline very well because I don't. <laughs> I know. <laughs> She's like, do you know where I live? Yes, I do. Um, but really, just take the time to, you know, you've got the paperwork here, but take the time to ask yourself some important questions. What has stopped me? Because that's part of the falling and the learning. And here's something I really want to give you. Not this is the best gift that I can give you this evening. This is your business. Make yourself a bug list. If something bugs you, and you ha and it has to be done in your business, delegate it. Delegate it. And you might think, well, golly, I can't afford to pay anybody. Mary Kay can pull consultants to get help. But here's what you can do: they'll work for a lip gloss. They don't have to be. I mean, when I was in DIQ and when I was a younger director, I had girls that would come over and work for Lip Gloss. And they would come play with my kids sometimes so that I didn't feel like I was just sitting in front of the TV. Kids. <laughs> um, and I can remember the first girl that came over and I had her put my orders away and put the stickers on the product. And she looked at my product, and I probably had 5,000 in holes on the toy. And she looked at my product, and she looked at what was coming in, and she was like, oh. <gasps> And within a month, she's like, are you ordering yet? You, you're you running out. She became one of my greatest consultants and still does a lot of great work for me in Oklahoma. So talk about a perspective changing. But here's what you have to ask yourself. Are you changing their perspective? Or are they changing yours? 
Who's selling who? Everyone. And we all sell everything, right? We sell our kids on putting their shoes and socks on their feet. We sell our husbands on a new outfit we just bought. Oh no, this old thing is going for. It's been hanging in the closet with the tag on for. I mean, I, but you know what I'm saying. We sell a girlfriend on going with us to the movie or going with us to the art show. Or we simply sell where we got our hair done because people like it. I heard that conversation today. Where you, you know, where you getting your hair? Women, we are natural networkers. And sales is honorable. We don't cheat anybody. I mean, you sell a miracle set, $99. If you add in the foundation, you get up to $120. How fast can you spend your profit, your $60 profit? How fast does that go on? How long does she have skincare she's going to love on her face? Who got the better deal? And I'm going to finish with this. I want you to really take some time to, to think, maybe when you lay down at night, maybe when you get up in the morning, and think, what is stopping me and why is it stopping me? Make yourself that bug list. I promise you that if you call or text Karen or box Karen and say, this is at the top of my bug list, she will be thrilled to talk to you about it. Odds are she's probably experienced it in her 20 years, and she's probably got some great advice for you. Okay. And if you drive her absolutely nuts with it, she can turn you over to me. So just do, do your business. Love your business. It's your business. You have permission to run it your way. You're going to class and integrity, and you're going to do a great job. Good to you. investment of time to reach out to people, establish relationships, you know, we are in relationship business, okay, it is worth establishing a relationship that she trusts you, that she will sit down with you, make an appointment, all that kind of stuff, you know, they're going to buy you first, we've said that many, many times, they're going to buy you first, if they don't, if they don't like you, it wouldn't matter what you were selling, you could be, I don't know, selling whatever, and they're not liking you, they're not going to buy it, okay, we have fantastic products, so that's a done deal, the unknown is you, if you don't know them. Okay, so they're going to buy you first. Um, and sometimes the failure is so unappealing to us that we not only are robbing these ladies, I mean, I've never had a customer to leave a party saying, this was awful. I do not thank you very much. <laughs> right? They're the, oh, thank you. And they love the hostess. If there, if there was one, thank you so much. This was wonderful. Da, 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 da. And then we get that boost. But then we do get the, the postponements and things like that. We do get the zero appointments. And if we let ourselves look at that as, you know what, it's just not worth it. I just can't afford to that kind of self disappointment, self disappointment, whatever. Just I, the disappointment's not worth it. Um, you're really, I think that's a very scarcity mentality um, as opposed to an abundant mentality when you feel like, okay, well, I'm, I'm saving myself from whatever. Very small thinking. It's that whole like that poem that whatever that I close with. Um, but abundance mentality is really saying I am worth stepping out, maybe getting disappointed, but I am worth what it feels like and it does for me and those that I empower and impact and, and all that. So have an abundance mentality because Just, I, I don't, okay. There may be one or two through the years that I wish I'd not met. <laughs> Always that person. You're like, why are you here? <laughs> okay, smile through it. Um, all right, but let's go to this sheet before I give you the other sheet because this is going to be the really important one. Um, okay, did you put your goal? I want you to put. What is your goal? What is your goal? What is your goal? All right, you see this A and B and whatever, the squiggly lines? You're going to have people that are just so squirrely and so all over, and this may be you that we're talking about. Some people are just all over before they get to their goal. Um, and some people are a little more, they overthink. This is actually more people that 
are so detailed and overthinking and overanalyzing that they just mm, 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 whatever, as opposed to being squirrely. Right here. <laughs> Sister Squirrel. I love it. Um, Sister Squirrel. <laughs> What is your goal? Okay. I really, really, really want you to write it down. Write down your March because March is not over. Hello. Oh, for March. Over. March. Over. <laughs> March is not over. And then I want March you to do just like a little slash here and then put your April goal. Okay? Because if you don't write these things down, you don't own them. They're just nebulous out in the air. And the next thing you know, April 30th comes and you're like, oh, snap, I'll start over in May. Thank you. Okay. All right, so if you are not at your goal or you do not feel like you are failing forward to your goal at any, like, hurried rate that you'd want, what's going on? Are you sidetracked or stopped or just stuck? Because sometimes we just get stuck. So what are you going to do about all that? Because if you don't do something, you're not going to the, you're not gonna get to the success. Okay. So we have right now in our unit a promotion for customers to, and I do need to see how many of you are participating in this. We can enter as many customers, hostesses, etc., between now and June 30th to go into a drawing to earn a trip to, to New York City. Or they can take the cash. Okay? So that one is, I mean, I don't know why they would. It's New York City. But they can take the cash. Our unit is running one because we're all going to go together over the holidays, okay? Um, and so we have, does everybody have a running list of people that are people of interest for them, for you to contact, to sit down, make an appointment, da 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 da, da. Everybody have a running list? Is it in your brain or is it on paper? Both? Okay, very quickly then, if it's either place, then you'll be, you won't have any trouble with this. Turn your paper over and write five names. Really quick. The people that are five, you know, on your list, like, oh, I really need to. Like we talked last week that if next week Susie Q comes in, and guess what? Her guest is the person, one of those five people on your list that would just really irritate you, right? Wrong, right? Okay. I have one. Okay. Five people. Would you like to book? I'm a favorite jacket. <laughs> and these people maybe it may be somebody that actually you've talked to the you know a month or two ago and they said, ah, oh, not right now. I've got this, that, and the other. Well guess what? It's not still right now. So things change. <laughs> it's not still right now. That's so poor battle. Okay. Um Alrighty. Now, that's what we're going to do. How many of you like prizes? Me. Uh, me. Good answer. Good answer. Okay. So, 